Welcome to D20 Deathmatch! <sighs> Welcome to D20 Deathmatch, everyone. As we find ourselves once again in the halls of the Dread Fortress, far below the ground in the subterranean lair, the Arbiter, sorry, not lo no longer the Arbiter, the Lord of Fate, Embarrassing. It's really hard to remember this new title. You know, when you usurp a throne, it just it just doesn't yeah. feel right for a while. You gotta. You no, gotta I also struggle with my own name. Absolutely. Yeah, listen, hey, nobody asked you. Yeah. Speaking of you, Thea, where are you? Ah, oh, I'm here. And you kind of hear a bumbling noise, kind of clanking down the hall. I'm over here, and she'll burst through these two doors. This tiny pink imp glowing glittery tiny wings from her and a poof of pink dust as she comes in with two champagne glasses and a bottle dragging along the floor very heavy for her to carry i i brought her drinks uh are, you're you're not even you're like two months old how are you drinking why are you drinking well two months as an imp but i've been in a worm a lot longer than that as it turns out like at least more than two other months I, you know what? I, I, who cares? Whatever. What, what, are you, what are you drinking, anyways? Uh, it's called Ch Champagne. Are you, are you drinking a nice champagne? Well, the little goblins down there said, yeah, this will be a nice drink. So I brought it up because I was like, this will be a nice drink because that's what they said. And so I said the same thing because it seemed like the right answer. And so I brought it up here because I thought that for the death match today, that you want to have like a little celebratory drink. <laughs> I was right? saving it for a celebration. Yeah. yeah. But not so I with brought you. you a glass and... But, but I brought two glasses. That's from my I private think... reserve. You know what? This is going on in your report. Um, he pulls out a. Uh, he pulls out a. You know what? Actually, I, we don't have to it? put. Let me let me just take care of this right now. As he snaps, and one of those stars that have been carved into your forehead just fades uh, away and no! heals. No! I worked so hard for those freaking stars. Are you kidding? Nothing I can do about it. You you cross the line. That's what happens. I'm sorry. Now please tell me that you uh, at least drunkenly prepared the death match. Of course, Arjun. I worked really hard on that. Unlike this, you're supposed to special reserves you have because we all know those were actually the Grandmaster's reserves and you just took them over. That's, that's not true. Who do you think bought all those for her in the first place? The goblins. No. Well, who they do you think the told receipts. them how to do that and where to do that? Mm. Mm, the Arbiter? That's me. You're no longer the Arbiter, though. That's like a whole different persona. Like, ooh. <laughs> Who is he? I don't know. <laughs> can, can we just no. can, can we just okay. get the champions in here and just move on with the day? Yeah, I thought I would bring back an absolute fan favorite and then spice it up, you know, with a little spice. Uh, okay. I can't name any spices because uh, you haven't really given me a lot of flavors to work with. Well, you're I'll not people, so you don't need to eat. There is people! Are you kidding me? I've been people, all the accolades, we're chanting, you were people and we're all for getting five tattoos. minutes, but that time has passed. Five minutes. I said five minutes. And that's mm. it. So maybe if you you'll want to change eat, your mind maybe, after maybe I show you, uh, you the champions. Show some initiative around here. Yeah, Just come on, let's see. Let's see the champions. Who do we got today? Fine! Well, I'm bringing back a favorite of all the acolytes. Maybe not yours, but it absolutely kicked ass. So, welcome back. And she'll clap her hands, and a pink portal will appear. Robbie Clark and the Hunger! There says Bob! I, I can't say it so many different ways. Bob! Bob! The Barbarian! Robbie Clark, take it away! Hi there! It's me, Robbie Clark, adventurer and hero of the land. It's all up to me and my good friend The Hunger to stop evil and to change all life in the universe into a singular biomass so that we can all become one with the greater unity. Isn't that right, The Hunger? <laughs> it's great to be back. We're, we're doing this again. We're, we're, we're having the child fight again. Yeah, I actually really liked it, and then the hunger did this thing, and I really thought that that spoke to me on a very spiritual level. So I thought, why not? D20 
stick to, right? Ha <laughs> ha. Plus, Robbie Clark kicked ass, so I thought. That's true. Like he him? did kick ass. Yeah. For a child, he was well, very ferocious. Actually, small correction because uh, they didn't have an ass; they kicked their cloaca. That's true. As we it learned, snake. snakes have cloacas, not now, ass. Now you so know. So uh, okay, so who's this guy's name? Is Bob? Bob? Is Bob! your name Bob? Yeah. Step up here. Hi. Hi, guys. I'm Bob the Barbarian. I'm from Florida, and I love jean shorts, also known as jorts. In my free time, I enjoy wrestling gators and drinking Coors Light. It's a pleasure to be here, and I can't wait to kick some ass. What? Though I feel weird about kicking a small child's ass. What? Why is he? Why is he talking? Who is he talking to? Why is he talking like that? He's talking to you. Is that how he always Darn. talks? Yeah. Yeah. Right. To everybody. That's. I'm just a friendly guy. I hope you're not See? too friendly, because I need you to kill this eldritch horror attached to this child oh yeah yeah of course no problem i mean like mayhem's you know what i do i just yeah. like to smile while i do it that's all oh you know mm -hmm. what that's a guy who loves his work i can't even be mad about that i uh, good choice good choice it's always the See? nice ones that are crazy i told you i'd bring a really fun group like i do every time and that's why i just one of those early classes of the bubbly drink <laughs> uh, give me give me the bottle Oh, and unleashing it from her tail, it'll drop down into your hands. He looks at it and it thinks about taking a drink, but then knowing that your mouth's been on it, he just drops it and lets it break on the ground. Someone will need to clean that up. Uh, you you look like you're not busy. Fine. <laughs> and Thea will kind of very sadly let her wings drop as she falls to the floor and will start licking it up. <laughs> That's, that's not what I meant. Get a broom. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. It'll, it'll take me a little while as she keeps licking the floor. Here, we'll you let her are ruining her everything. The way I need to be. And she'll clap her hands above her head while she very adamantly licks up all the drink on the floor so nothing is left. And a gianter, bigger, fantastically larger portal will open this time and it will be a big giant portal go ahead everybody walk through it will take you to and she'll kind of wipe the champagne from her lips the village the duki the duck village go on through and as you all walk through you actually find yourself in a quaint little town adorable with a big old bell the little villagers walking around with fruit stands veggie stands their wares out occasionally a little gaggle of ducks flying by or stopping by the fountain a cat peeking through the window all around this little courtyard that is now your arena now your surroundings, interesting as they may be, and yours to destroy. You also look high above into the sky and you notice not just the clouds that are oddly shaped like boobs and penises. Yes, that's funny. <laughs> Uh, but also, in an ethereal sort of way, acolytes lighting the skies, row after row after row after row, cheering you on. Bob, 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 Robbie, 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 and even a few like wild, insane individuals going, The Hunger! Clearly remembering what has happened in previous matches. Go ahead, Lord of Fate, you kick it off! As she continues slurping up the rest of the champagne. Very well, as the Lord of Fate rises up above the crowd, flaring his white wings as they glow in the sun. Acolytes, are you ready to see some blood? And whatever the is inside of that tentacle monster, I don't... Do you have blood? Is there blood in there? Are you talking to me or the hunger? Uh, uh, which of you is the tentacle monster? The I don't, hunger? I'm not sure I know. Uh, okay, does he have blood? I am made of the infinite. <laughs> okay, uh, well, get ready to see whatever the fuck that is! Yeah! As the acolytes begin screaming and throwing beers around and ripping their shirts off and punching each other in the face. <laughs> All right! I want to see some carnage. I want to see some death. I want to see some chaos. chaos. I need both of you to roll me initiative. It's a flat okay, D20. Hunger. We're really Ooh. in it now. I rolled twice by accident. Bob with a nine. Robbie Clark, or was it the hunger, with a 19. 
Robbie, you will go first as we enter into round number one. Woo! Okay, the hunger. This guy looks tough, but he's not wearing any shirt. Usually that means they're extra tough. Let's see what this guy's made of. Give him a couple little, little tentacle swings. Now we shall consume. And three tentacles are going to launch out of Robbie's backpack in a sort of three sort of whips spinning around him. And he's going to try to whip at um, my dear companion, the my enemy, Bob. Uh, so I'm going to make three attacks. All right. Roll, roll the first one. First one is a 16. 16 to hit. It is an 18 to defend. It's going to miss. Oh, yeah. This guy looks pretty tough. Let's try again. 16 to hit again. <gasps> Nine to defend. It's going to hit. Describe that hit for us. The, 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 I imagine that it's, it's the, the tentacle is swinging out almost like a wet towel, giving him a little. Nice. Yeah. That hurts. That ah, hurts a lot. A little it stings. All right. Last Let's one coming try in it for one a more 12. time. With an eight to defend, it's going to hit two. Oh, got him twice. Good job, the hunger. All right. ah! Quick question: Where are those whiplashes hitting on this shirtless barbarian in front? We're of getting you? one on each peck, just above the nipple, to create a little bit of a bronzing effect. Oh. <laughs> 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 this you, may not have my, the effect you're looking for. My as nips. <laughs> as you whip out. Whoosh, whoosh, that's going to deal two fighting spirit damage to Bob the Barbarian. I believe that is the end of your turn. <sighs> Let's see what you're made of, Bob. Holy smokes! This guy's got some power. I haven't had vines whipping my nipples for years. <laughs> Thanks so much. That felt great. But with my three actions, I think I need to return the favor and summon the power of the peninsula. That's right. <laughs> Bring forth my gator strength from Florida as I jump into battle and use my hands to viciously punch a small child <laughs> directly in his face three times. Three times. When you phrase it like that, it, does, it sounds worse than it is, I think. Uh, roll it. Boom. Here's the first one. <gasps> Seven to hit. 20 Spicy. to defend. Oh. Good. Shut this down. child's made of stone. That's okay though. My my fists are made of titanium, like like a something nice, strong. <laughs> Good one. Thirteen Damn to hit, it. nineteen to defend. How what's it look like as you defend this one, Robbie? Oh, I feel like he must be used to fighting folks his own size. Let's use our small size to our advantage, and we're just gonna be ducking low. You just punch it too high. We're just a little guy. All right. Bob and weave. Bob and weave. I got another one. I'm not giving up yet. 11 to hit. <laughs> A natural one! Oh, no! Yes! 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 That's Boom. right. Those titanium fists come in obliterating Robbie's chest just for a little bit. How does that feel, Bob? Oh, yeah! It feels good to be back in battle, Thea. I haven't felt this good in years. And I tell you what, when your fist connects with a small child's breastplate or their sternum, it's just something about hearing that crack that really gets you going. Yeah, <laughs> nothing with, else like it. With a natural <laughs> one, you're going to take one damage for the hit. You're also going to take a second damage to your fighting spirit from the Ooh. natural one. And you are going to gain one fatigue Reminding Ooh. folks at home that at five, five fatigues, you die. That's that's what death looks like in case anyone was wondering. Mm -hmm. It can also look like this. Ooh. Ah. And I could keep doing more if you would like. I would I would not like. Can you can you just oh. roll me a d20? Would that, would yeah, that, I can definitely do that? do that. As it turns out, like that's a specialty of mine where I take a dice with 20 sides and I roll it and I get an um. Oh, wow. Wait a minute. Three. Rock, oh. don't you have a plus three to your bloodlust? Oh, 
Uh, uh, do, uh, do, uh, do I? Do I? I do have a plus three. I'm an honorable plus... fighter, and I will That's remember right. that that means you actually get four actions. Not three. <gasps> no, it's uh... instinct. No, that's no. instinct. Ignore me. I'm also that's an instinct. honorable fighter. I don't know what oh. I'm talking about. You're Are you trying to tell me the rules boy. of my own game? Who? You're just a small boy. We've all been there. <laughs> Maybe we should go back to math class. I didn't go through that apology. stage in my life. When do I get to become a small boy? Uh, Any time that you want to. I, I, yeah, I guess I mean, you can do whatever you want, I suppose. Join the eternal flesh and you can be all boys. Oh, do you all have cookies, though? I think if you go with him, you're going to yeah. be cookies. Oh. <laughs> Fine. I don't want to be that. I can make my own cookies and I can get my own shop hack and ACs. So let's go ahead and kick off round number two instead. Number two! Some of us are still waiting for testosterone to kick in. <laughs> Once it hits, you never feel the same again. <sighs> Will my voice then deepen? That and you're going to have a lot of erections. <laughs> <laughs> That's why they call me Smiling Bob. <laughs> I don't know what you guys are talking about. Well, it's your turn. You so said you said I Robbie, it is your turn in round number two. Oh, okay, the hunger. Let's see if I can take this guy out a little bit. Why don't you help me with a projecting kick? And the hunger is going to launch these tentacles out of the backpack to launch Robbie forward into a massive kick. We're going to try to kick this guy uh, right in the belly. That's right. Let's see if we can get Bob in the belly. Ooh. Oh, it's a oh, four to a hit. natural two. <gasps> Oh, I'm natural too. <laughs> you better Ow, tie your shoelaces tighter. Let me help. I want to try to do this by myself for a minute, and he's gonna try to give him a little kick in the shin. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Not, not the shin. Eleven to hit. Thirteen to defend. You should oh. really let me help. I want to show you that I can do this really well. Uh, and then the hunger is gonna be like, oh, we should protect ourselves. <laughs> And he's gonna, I mean, he's gonna use my last action to defend. I don't remember oh. what that does, but that's what I'm doing. Yeah, okay. It'll actually impose a disadvantage to your opponent. Perfect. Oh. <clears throat> All right. Wow. So, with that it's defense, crazy. as the hunger defends himself, or defends Robbie Clark, that's gonna impose disadvantage on your first attack, Bob. That means uh, you're gonna roll two uh, times, and you're gonna take the lower of the two rolls. When you attack. Oh man, that tricky little boy is up to no good. Guess I'm gonna have to kick some ass to teach him what it, being nice to his elders means. Woo! <laughs> so, so yeah, I'm gonna attack a couple times. I think you know. All right. With with my burly, strong, glistening body, I rub my palms onto my jorts to get my special, special crystals that are embedded in the fabric. Now my hands are even stronger, woo! And I charge head first because for some reason I actually use my head instead of my hands for this attack. Oh, even though course. I just powered them up. I don't know why, it just feels right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Boom! Here it comes! And here oh, comes- Oh, it's oh. a natural 20! And oh. a natural one in response! <laughs> Oh man, oh, this oh, fight's oh. rough. No! Yeah! No! <laughs> okay. Oh, my power! Woo! With but, a. But wasn't I supposed to maybe attack twice because of the disadvantage thing? Oh, or, you know what? You that... do have disadvantage, though. Yeah! Oh! That's right! Oh no! I'm not a cheater either. And I'm actually a smart barbarian. Here it comes again! Woo! Okay, it's still gonna oh, hit. really high. All right, you're going to lose two fighting spirit again, Robbie. One for the natural one, one for the hit. Bringing oh. you down to 13 as you uh, as you take these hits. You're also going to gain a second fatigue. Oh, yeah. That's not good. I'm sorry, child, but sometimes we have to learn in real life that when you fuck with the elders, you get the stick of the horse. <sighs> I fought guys bigger than you before, and I've had them consumed by the hunger. <sighs> We just have to really persevere. 
I like a tough battle. Uh, I think I have two more attempts to attack. Is that correct? You have Lord two more of, actions. Wait, yes. Yes. Then here it comes again. This time I'm using my pointer finger covered in my spike, my crystal shit that I put on earlier. Here it comes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that means, but it sounds bad. <gasps> 21 oh, to hit. Oh, Six oh, to the defend. Time was almost there. Boom, right in your tiny little eye socket. Oh, crystals. My eye socket. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what they all say. And now, <laughs> here comes one more vicious attack using my full strength. Ah! Woo! Nine to hit, six to defend. It's going to do. Jeez. Right in the throat hole that I just created. Bam! I'm a barbarian. That's, that's how barbarians that's, work. That's how you know it's true, because he said it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I believe it. Um, just using his fingers. This is very effective. Well, uh, uh this is uh that that was a spicy round, uh, but I wanna I think Wait, is that what spice is? Oh, I've been trying to get more spice. Uh, Okay. And she'll actually run up behind Bob the Barbarian with a small vial, trying to capture some of his. That's, I assume no, his sweat. No, don't, that's coming that's, off his no, leg. No, no, no. Oh, okay. I got you can have as now. much as you want. There's plenty to go around. Go ahead, take my spice. Thank you. <laughs> and she'll lick your leg to take in oh, some that, of the oh, spice. Oh my god! Wow. Yeah. Your tongue is so so hard, like a like cat. A cat. <laughs> yeah, like a cat. Oh my god, did we just Damn become paper. best friends? They yeah, Holy it was same mind, same mind, which is Woo! not great for anyone else. <laughs> uh, 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 can they? Uh, you're gonna please, 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 just stop, stop that. Uh, and, I don't know and, and, what's and, been in Bob's uh, barbarian spice system, but I've seen a lot of stars, and I don't think you gave me any more. <laughs> no, it's pure I... beer. That's pure <laughs> beer. My spice is made out of the mead of oh. fermented hops. I didn't <laughs> drink a lot is. today, then. <laughs> oh, my God. Mm. They, uh, I need you, you to need get back to, to work because uh, the Acolytes have not only triggered one chaotic event. Oh. I think they've triggered two. <gasps> oh, oh, no. Oh, oh. And in a panic, she'll just roll her dice just to make sure that's out of the way, which is a spicy 15. Noted. Yes, yes. And that means we need two chaotic events. Can we do one at this one and then another one at the end of the next round? Yeah, so I think that, that I think that'll like, work out. Let's let's yeah, trigger one yeah. chaotic event. Yeah. Unleash yeah, yeah. the chaos! Chaos! I was thinking it'd be really cool if Robbie did it. And maybe Robbie would roll really well. Robbie, can you roll an R20 for me? <sighs> I'll do what I can, although I gotta say, this guy's tough. I've never fought one of these Floridians before. They seem <laughs> Like a next level champion. Okay, let's go. The hunger, help me out. 16. Oh, 16. Ooh, 16. That's almost 20. It's close. That is. I stopped going to school when I was too young. <laughs> this is going to be interesting. Suddenly, when you look up to the sky, it starts to get dark. And it's not because the sun is setting, but instead, a giant space saucer covers the entire sky. And it whirls and beeps. And suddenly, shooting down a ray of light onto the two of you, it sends out a ray, transmitting you up to the ship. Both of you must roll to avoid getting probed. Uh, <laughs> roll a defense a metal save we need a 15 to save against these this aliens, true. aliens robbie funny. with a 20 no! and the no! bob with a five my ass! my ass they're gonna probe me no <laughs> all right uh bob with a failure on that you will lose one fighting spirit in oh, addition you will gain one fatigue, and Robbie, you will gain another fatigue for the attempt, for the effort to avoid that, oh. but you will not lose any fighting spirit. Is it, oh, uh, does the hunger know them? Is that how you were able to get away from that? It's the, yeah, is the hunger an alien? 
what's an alien? Oh. Oh, yeah, okay. Maybe not. Uh, I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe you have a lot I of think the hunger is a creature that defies space and time. It's not uh, limited to terrestrial existence or identity. Yeah, I know, but like that's. As somebody who also uh, uses that as their sales pitch, uh, I can tell you that it's just a bunch of it's just a bunch of showmanship. Nobody mm -hmm. really means that. My memory is full of blank spots. <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, um. Anyway, round number three. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> also, Bob, just so you know, as a small minor effect, you can no longer hold farts in since you've been. Oh born. shit! Does that mean I shart when I fart? I guess. Sure. Oh God! You really I mean, tore me a new one. Loaded, I suppose. It's every time you fart, you shart. Uh. <laughs> I'm gonna have to. Oh, I can't hold them in, so I guess I'm just permanently sharting then. Well, <laughs> shit. This is in your in your jorts. Yep, in my jorts. I'm gonna make a big mess. That's not good. Now I'm gonna have to wash them. <laughs> All right, we're about to start round number three here. Robbie Clark and the hunger. You need help with those shorts? Just ask me. I'll take them to my aunt's house. Thanks. All right. The hunger. I'm not feeling too good. Um, the hunger is going to launch these tendrils out into the ground and start pumping life essence out of the ground and to sucking it, sapping the earth, and drying the soil around it as I'm going to use my first action to remove a fatigue, because I'm going to die of that. Yeah, um, good choice. And as those tendrils come out, the hunger, I do think I need your help on this one. Bob, sir, I don't know what you are or who you are, but you're going to, you're not going to like that you hit me. And a giant tendril is going to launch out, but this mouth is going to appear out of it, and it's going to just try to take a bite out of your shoulder as it grows teeth. I'm going to use a power up. Yeah! Ba -ba 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 -ba. Ah! I don't. Uh, I'm going to power up. And three times the damage. It's going to try to take a chomp bite out of you. Show us those gnashing teeth. It's Jeez. a five to hit. <laughs> <laughs> and a five to defend <laughs> on a tie. Nobody takes any damage, but you both take a fatigue. Oh, oh no! So I just I just got the fatigue back that I got away and Correct. lost my power up. Cool. Alex. Correct. Well, good. Oh, oh man, this is gonna be really if we got one attack left. Let's go for a uh, this guy seems like those jorts are where his power comes from. Maybe we can get him, and it seems like he really didn't like that he had to get them cleaned. So maybe when we get them extra dirty, this'll really mess him up. Yeah. Put some gross goo on those jorts. The hunger and one of the tendrils is, is just gonna bleh, and like throw up like viscera and like bits of a cat and other things <laughs> and just trying to stain up your jorts. Uh, oh. I'm gonna use the status effect. I'm gonna try to give him a, <gasps> a status effect. Uh, two dirty jorts. <laughs> okay. Oh no. Mm -hmm. Roll. Eight to hit. Seven to defend. It's gonna hit. It's success. Ah, dirty jorts. Dirty jorts. Dirty jorts. Dirty. And like the whole acolytes start chanting on behalf, seeing this stain of cat pieces that now splatter across your legs. All right. Mostly ah, cat pieces. Ah. Yeah. yeah. Makes those shorts dirty with a uh, status effect. That's one damage for the hit, one damage for the status effect. That's two fighting spirit damage. And if you uh, you are now under the effect, if you don't clear that effect on your turn, you will take another point of damage every round until you do. Yeah. Got it. That's good to know. In. Yeah, they work really well on shorts, surprisingly. Who would have guessed? <laughs> uh, can I just confirm the amount of fighting spirit that I have? Am I sitting at a... At a Healthy eleven? Is that did nope. I am I correct? Bingo! Holy shit! That makes I'm two of us. Yeah! Awesome! I love a good battle, and I have to say, Robbie, you pack much more of a punch than I ever could have imagined. Especially with those weird tentacles coming out of your back or pack or whatever the hell. I don't know where they're coming from, but something weird's going on over there. And you're absolutely right. I don't like when I have dirty jorts. But here's the thing. When I had my anus probed earlier, I realized that I could use the shit 
to throw poison right back into you. So I take my crystal covered hand and I dip it into my jorts, deep into my anus to pull out the shit. And then I attack once with my shit covered hand using the status of shit poison to go directly at you. That's right, I'm using a status effect too, Robbie. Two can play at this game. <laughs> ah, here it comes. This is dangerous. Uh, 13 to hit. 19 to defend. It doesn't oh, hit. No. no. Well, you're a slippery one, aren't you, boy? The hunger well, just guess... eats the poop. <laughs> oh, my God. It cleaned it right off my hand, you <laughs> sick bastard. What the hell is that thing? Well, that's all right, though. I definitely need to get the stains off my jorts to get back to full strength now. Both poop and poison from the hunger, whatever came out of its mouth. So I use one of my actions to clear the status effect. Noted. And All now right. I have one action left. Yes. Is that is that correct? correct? Yes. I have one action left. I look across the battlefield at the small child with his long tentacle pack shit, whatever it is. And I feel something I haven't felt in many moons. Admiration for a worthy opponent. I know I have to give him my best. So I take my hands and put them directly onto my nips, rubbing them, rubbing them circularly as hard and as fast as I can, unleashing a tornado of speed directly from the nips and out it shoots towards you. Boom. Okay. Roll to hit. Okay. Nobody Nine to hit. Die. 18 no! to defend. <gasps> or 17, whichever it is. Not gonna hit. How did you dodge <sighs> it, you sneaky oh little kid? You sneaky boy. You're you're really sneaky. How, how, Maybe you're rubbing the wrong nipples. How did you how <sighs> did you dodge the nip nados? That nip power was hard and fast and powerful, but I'm a little kid, and I think nipples are gross. So I averted my eyes, and I don't know what the hunger did, but it took me to that happy place that it does whenever it needs to take care of business with people, and I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> That's perfect. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Fully that's answers my question. It makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> I just burst to the air. <laughs> that makes a lot more sense. <laughs> Other than just closing your eyes and wishing it away. Uh, all right, I believe that is the uh, the end of Bob the Barbarian's turn. Thea, give me a roll here. Mm, that's me, and I'm gonna roll a d20. And I was on. Look at that! I roll better than Robbie the Clark in the Hunger. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, you did. You know what? I'm gonna note that in your file. That's, uh, Thank you. Better than Robbie <laughs> Clark. <laughs> that's important. Wait, this time does Bob get to roll the d20 to see what chaos comes? I don't see why not. Roll, right. us, roll us a d20, Bob. Oh, Bob. I love chaos. I'm from Florida. Here it comes. Yes. Woo! A 10. Clean 10. A, a 10. Ooh. Kind of from the effects of what the hunger did earlier by sticking in and absorbing all the life force around, the plant life shrivels even more so in this parched land. That rocky terrain becomes even drier still. The humidity drops and you find yourself in this almost like a desert. Even the fountain behind you for a minute or two becomes completely dry. Your mouth can't muster enough spit to swallow and your eyes even begin to feel dry that it hurts to blink. Roll to find a water source. That is okay. a metal save DC 15. Or become dehydrated. Oh no, that's fun stuff. All right, Robbie Clark failing with the five. Cool. And a success from Bob with a 16. And unfortunately for you, Robbie, because this is our second chaotic event, this will deal two points of damage to your fighting spirit. Uh, and also, unfortunately for both of you, you both gain another fatigue. Robbie, putting you what? at four. Why, got, why do I have fatigue? Why from I, from I, the I effort. Won. You didn't it's take the damage, okay. but you still get the fatigue. But that makes I, sense. Because that's what I the do. acolytes want. Yes. They want to see you die, Bob. That's true. And so also, do I. Bob, uh, we also need a full report on where you found the water source. 
as you had succeeded enough and did not become dehydrated. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, well, it came from the, sorry, I was so enamored with how many fatigue I have because I don't want to die yet. I want to live a yeah. long time and have mm. children someday. <laughs> children like Robbie, maybe. That's, that's what I've always wanted. But anyway, I found the water source in the ground. I, I took my diamond hands and I drilled in using a semi-circular protractor type motion like a penguin would do into ice with its beak. And then the water bubbled up and I drank of the natural spring that I had created. Yes, as a Florida man, I know how to find water anywhere. Just not was... good quality water. Are there you know? Florida penguins? <laughs> I'm glad you asked. The answer is yes. Yes, they're in zoos. <laughs> They keep them cooped up. They're dangerous. You can't trust them. Make it make a note anyway, of that. Anyway, yeah, the water was was not bad. That's, That's where fair. I got it from. That's to answer fair. your question. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Robbie Clark, in this moment of dehydration, how are you doing? Are you okay over there? I really I really wish I had a root beer. Oh. Hmm. I don't have any root beer. But she'll pull out like a small towel that she was using to help clean up the ship Paganus and she'll offer it to you. Would you like some of the bubbles? Uh, yeah, I would love some. The, and she'll toss it to you. <laughs> the Lord of Fate snaps his finger and the towel disappears. He's a child. You can't give him booze. Oh, have you been around for at least 18 years, 21 years? I don't know what country we are in with the policies we're following in the void. I don't have that many memories after yesterday. See, he may not even remember. Okay, fine. I'll find him some water. Uh, it, but you are gonna... do, do you remember fighting here before? I remember waking up and seeing a dead snake. That's accurate. That's And also well, true. That's mildly concerning, but that's a problem for somebody else as we're entering round number four. And as the acolytes are cheering and chanting and slamming their fists and throwing their blue slushies all over the guy in front of them who is really really pissed uh the sound just echoes off of this village and chaos as the acolytes demand the box of chaos chaos as the box of chaos slams falling from the sky hitting to the dirt between the two of you the lid flips open and pink and yellow fire shoots straight into the sky producing a heatless flame as it is magical. And out of that box, two black shadowy clawed hands creep their way out and a yellow set of eyes peek over the uh, the side of the box. This is the box of chaos. You can use an action to make a sacrifice to it and in exchange, it will give you something of magical nature, a magical item, if you will. It's random. You don't it's get random. to ask for a particular thing. But you can use an action to, uh, to trigger the box if you'd like. Uh, and that's uh, that's where we'll start round number four. Robbie! Four uh, fatigues. Wait. Asking for a present and then getting something random reminds me of Christmas. Yeah. All right. I'm going to... Ooh, okay. I really want to get into that box of kef. Hey, The Hunger, what was that guy Bob saying about, uh, about like, parents and family? Do I have parents? <laughs> All right, and for another time, um, I'm going to use my first action to reduce some of this fatigue so I don't immediately die. <laughs> Great choice. Great choice. I'm going to use my second action to remove some of this fatigue so I don't immediately die. <laughs> and for my final action, the hunger, I know we're supposed to fight, but curiosity's got the best of me. I'm going for the box. Yeah. And uh, I'm going to reach down. I'm going to give a high five to the weird skeleton that's a little spooky but kind of cool and i'm gonna say i don't have anything to give you but i'd love a present and then the um and then uh, the hunger is going to say his birthdays and these like tubes are going to uh pump out of robbie as robbie's eyes kind of roll back into his head and these little <laughs> orbs of light spill out of the uh out of a tentacle like it extrudes them like these little pearls as it gives the the skeleton robbie's memories of his birthdays oh, oh 
yeah, I fucking love cake. As he gobbles these memories up, and you just see his eyes just kind of like Neo in the Matrix <laughs> flip through all these memories. Oh boy, this is gonna be good. As he shuts the lid, <laughs> and the box begins to rumble and shake. <laughs> Uh, roll me a d20, Robbie. I'm so excited to get something cool. Let's go for it, the hunger. A two. I rolled a two. A two. <clears throat> What's he going to get? As that box rumbles and shakes and the lid flips open and that shadowy figure reemerges. Actually, is pretty nice. You can flavor these however, we wa however you want. You receive the shield of the Golden King. Behind its golden gleam, your metal is increased by plus one, and all of those abilities impacted by metal are also then increased by plus one. But if you roll in that one on your defense, it's shattered. That does mean that your health also increases by one. <gasps> okay. Because your metal goes up one. Okay. You is metal that. my defensive stat? Correct. I don't remember right now. Correct. Okay. Good to know. Oh, um, Robbie's just gonna hold it like a shield. This is cool. This is sweet. Thanks for getting me this awesome present, the hunger. No problem. And you notice this uh, this <clears> shield <throat> that you're holding <throat> is just shining gold, and uh, it looks like it has never seen battle. It is just ornamental and, and decorative. Like looks like a, looks some, like someone was just ha carrying this thing for show because they were. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. Bob, let's see what you got. That'll be my turn. Wow! That thing gleams so bright and shiny. Congratulations, Robbie. You're going to need it. Because now I'm not holding back anything. I just want to confirm. I have three fatigue. Is that correct? Lord yeah. Correct. Correct. Fantastic. For my first action, I will clear one fatigue. Ha ha! All right. Gone. <laughs> Struck. For my Enjoy. second action. Mm -hmm. I will look down at the ground and directly at my clean jorts and realize that like Robbie, I must sacrifice something that is dear to me. Yes. 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 I grab my jorts no, no. and rip another small piece off. Not the whole thing, because oh, I don't yes. want to expose my python yet, but that's <laughs> coming later. Don't you worry about that. That's going to come much later when we're all ready, consensually. But I take off <laughs> That's what she said? Of a piece of the jort, and I give it to the purple box thing. What uh, what the hell was it called again? The box of chaos, as the box- Yeah, here, box of chaos, take a part of my jorts. Well, uh, that's not very big. I can, maybe I can make like an eye patch out of it. Yeah, you know what, I'll take it. I'm not picky. As he slams the box lid shut and it begins to rumble and shake. <laughs> Roll me a d20. Here it comes. What is it? 10. As the Ten. lid flips open once again, and that column of fire shooting into the sky, changing the color of the sky to these pinks and purples for a moment, creating an artificial sunset as the acolytes look on in awe as, the, uh, as this box then floats to you a magical gift. It is the Blade of Shadow. You Ooh. hold a piece of the Shadow King's soul. <gasps> Ooh, that's an old bad guy. Ooh. He was bad. We were like, wow. Ah, we it like says, says you. Just saying. And each strike with this blade heals you for one fighting spirit. So if you're successful for the hit, you get it. But it's also really hard for you to hold. So you'll gain one fatigue in return. Uh, for uh, for every time I swing yeah. the blade, no, just you, the one just time one, thing. Just one. Oh, yeah. okay, that's really good because yeah. otherwise this would be very bad. Yeah, the blade <laughs> would be very bad for me in the long term. You gain a fatigue, wow. but uh, but you'll gain health on every hit. But like mini box items on a natural one, it is destroyed. Yeah. Awesome. So I have to choose when to use it. Is that correct? Yeah, you can you can use it whenever you want on all of your attacks. I can use it whenever I want. Good, because I'm going to use it right now. Yeah. And I'm also going to power it up. All with, right. I, with one of my power up. I have two power ups, right? Correct. Yeah. Sweet. It's time to power it up with one of my two power ups as I hoist the shadow blade high into the sky. Higher. Lightning crackling higher. My arms reaching 
as high as they can go, my pecs gleaming. I summon the energy. I feel it coursing through my veins as I run at Robbie. Ha! And I smash down my mighty blade onto his small child skull. <laughs> 12 tickets. For a 12. 15 oh! to defend. It misses. Wait, but I have a power up. Did that do anything or not? No, you missed, so you lost damage. the power up. Damn it. Damn everything and damn the shadow blade. Uh... Hell, back where it belongs. They will fly out. No, no, no. You, it's all, it's all in the wrists. It's all in the wrists, and she'll give you a little direction, so that way, hopefully, you have a better understanding oh. of how to wield this sword. It's a little bit bigger than what most people are used to handling. It's okay. Yeah, I guess it was a little bit too big to me for me, <laughs> in, uh, beside me. Thanks, Thea. You're, You're a welcome. good friend. It's okay. I've had to. Never mind. Uh, uh, Thea, can you roll me a, a d20? Yeah, I can definitely do that. Yes. I roll the dice and the dice says a 10. Ha <laughs> ha. That's good. It's safe and it's not bad, but it's not amazing, Ooh. which is humble. When people it's, like humble, I it's, don't, it you is, know. It's average like your work ethic. But it's still better than most of Robbie's rolls. As she looks over at Robbie, well, Alark and the Hunger. Uh, to be fair, he's a, he's a, he's a child. Robbie's like half. <laughs> what? <laughs> Nothing. You're doing great. You're doing. Do you know what? Maybe. Oh, you know what helps? And she's going to run back real quick, kind of out into one of the buildings on the inside. And you hear a little bit of a clang and clatter. And she comes back out and hands you a pair of New Balance shoes. Maybe, you know, these sneakers will be better for you and she'll offer them to you. They'll do nothing, but, you know, sometimes it's changing up a few things. I've never gotten new shoes before. What? These seem cool. <laughs> no, no, this no. Why, why is, that, why no, is everybody making that's not true. Pieces? You got new shoes on your seventh birthday, I remember. <gasps> What's a birthday? Don't worry oh, about it. <laughs> just put the shoes on, Robbie, and they will pat you very these softly on the head. Thanks. <sighs> Maybe these will give me the extra bounce I need and the extra balance. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh yeah. That was that was really good. You know what? Thea likes that. You're you're gonna get advantage on your next turn. That was oh, really good. Okay. As, uh, I'll take it. As we begin into round number five, the box of chaos, the Lord of Fate snaps his fingers, the box of chaos shoots into the sky like a comet across the horizon, leaving only the two of you left on this battlefield with your new items. Robbie, what are you gonna do? Oh man, okay. Listen, buddy, I don't know who you are. I don't know what's going on with Florida. I don't know why your pants are so magical, but I know that it's my job to win this fight and to save the world and to stop the bad guys. <sighs> Come on, the hunger. We got to finish this. And Robbie's going to start charging towards you. Ah! And my, the hunger's tentacles are going to start <laughs> as he turns into like this mass of writhing tentacles sort of trying to barrel towards you. And we shall make our first attack. Do oh, it, with advantage, you said. Yeah! Ooh. 20. Yeah! Ooh. Wait, did it, what? Did I, I, I didn't know if I should roll again. No, nope. it didn't matter anyway. Woo! <laughs> um, oh, okay. As we knock over Bob, there's gonna be a moment between the writhing tendrils yes. where Robbie kind of sees Bob through them and their eyes link. And just for the faintest of seconds, Bob sees the passion for fighting fade from Robbie. And for a moment, a child looks through and sees an adult, an adult that might be yearning for something, something that Robbie has been yearning for for a long time, but he's forgotten. And then <laughs> the hunger is going to shroud over those eyes, and he is going to make two more tendril attacks towards Bob. 
and he, trying to like pull Robbie back. First oh. one. Oh, <gasps> 21 to hit, four to defend. Oh. It's gonna hit. Oh. Oof. Painful. Oof. Painful. He shall be my champion. Uh, and the hunger's gonna take another attack. Oh! Ah, where ah. is the strength coming from? <laughs> 15 to hit, 7 to defend. It's a hit. I can't see what you're doing. Don't worry about it. Uh, all right, and that's my turn. Dang, as both those attacks go in, describe that in detail for us as we see the lashing out and the hunger taking it front stage. I prevent the child from connecting with another human so that I can best still wield him as a vessel. And as I do, I plant my tethered tendrils of teeth and tentacle into this foul humanoid, piercing him with many thousands of little itsy bitsy bites. Maybe no cuts, but perhaps terrible itches shall be upon him. Not the itches! Ah, you'll never be able to sleep at night! Ah! 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 Get me the Benadryl! Because I'm not done yet, boy! What's my fighting spirit, Lord of Fate? I believe it's at nine, if I'm correct. Thea, you have the official book, so are you keeping track over there? I wasn't doing a good job, but God I had damn it. it's, it's nine. It's nine. <laughs> nine sounds right to me! Just needed to make sure. Damn, Robbie, for a small child, you pack a mead punch with your tentacles. I haven't itched like this since, well, we probably shouldn't talk about that on on here. We sh <laughs> Don't grow up, boy. Don't ever make love to people that you felt. <laughs> the itch is extreme and it's messing with my brain. Don't worry about the itch. Uh, what is it that down, you want to do, Bob? Wait. What I want to do is kick some ass. Yeah. The only way I know how. With your feet? And that's... Oh. Well, yeah, the, the feet are, are good for ass kicking. That is true. But no, my nipples failed. My... 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 My poop failed. Well, now it's time to turn to my small animal brethren. My gators. Trusty. Loyal. Some ranging in size up to 20 feet. Come to me, gator children! Surround your barbarian brethren! As the gators chomp, encircling me, now we prepare for a new realm of attack, unleashing the chomp! Go, gator one! Chomp at Robbie's legs and bite one! Bite it, bite it. 30, 20 to hit versus... An eight, oh, it's gonna hit. Bam! Snapping his tiny little leg off, blood spewing. Ah, I'm getting hard. I love battle. All right, <laughs> another gator. Let's go. Attack, gator two. 11 to hit. Uh... Not 18 to defend. Not gonna oh, hit. His defense is stronger than I thought it was. It's because kind you didn't of, name your gators. That's very rude and insensitive. They all love That's very names. true. I should have given them names. I guess there's a chance to do it for Gator 3. Come here. <laughs> Jeremy, the gator. <laughs> yeah, come here, Jeremy. Are you ready to do what your other brethren couldn't? Roar, 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 roar. That's a gator noise. Okay. Before you attack, though, it's time to give your jaws a little extra bite as I rub a delicious chili powder onto it. This one's gonna burn if it hits. I'm using a status effect. Here comes the third gator, Jeremy. Seven to Damn hit. Damn you, Jeremy. 15, not gonna do it. Damn you to hell, Jeremy, you worthless gator. You're gator three again. I'm never naming another gator as long as I live. Hold on, I know how to speak with animals. And you'll see Thea fly down and also lay on her belly and she'll put her arms out. And your so-called Jeremy will respond also going. They will quickly flop back up. Uh, first of all, name's not Jeremy. 
It's Hannah Montana, and you should have known better. That's very oh, man. rude. The blonde wig on top of them should have given you an obvious heads up. I'm so sorry, Hannah Montana. I never meant to call you, Jeremy. I felt pressured into it. I, I just thought of you as a number. Clearly, I was wrong. I didn't even know you were a female gator. You may have failed me here, but I promise you this, my small gator brethren. I'll protect your eggs whenever you lay them. That's what we do in Florida. We protect each other. You're free now. Go. And Anna Montana will just hop over into the fountain and do a couple of flips and then circle there for the rest of the match. Uh, this seems good. Okay. This seems good. Well, uh... Yeah. That's uh, interesting. Uh, Thea, give me a give me a, a twenty. Give me a D twenty oh, roll. That's me again. Remember last time where I did okay at it, and I'm oh, gonna I, do trust another me, I one with an eighteen. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah. Do it. Yeah. That, that was okay. That means Thea gets another store on her forehead. Okay. Fine. I will. I will carve another. Day. And he takes a pen and starts carving another star into your forehead. Fine. Thank you. Just quit bugging me about it, okay? Uh, yeah. But. Uh, Speaking of, uh, sure it doesn't go too away, so you have to get a little deeper. It's okay. I plug my eyebrows uh, once. I have no pain uh, in my upper forehead. Uh, well, I'm gonna have to get my good pen from inside then. So let's just take a let's take a break. How about we take ten minutes? I go get the pen. I come back. I carve a star in your forehead, worthy of whatever it is you think it's worthy of. Five uh, stars. And then uh, then we'll be back. How about, how's that sound? Thank you. Okay. Yes. Acolytes, we'll see you in ten minutes. <laughs> Acolytes, we have returned. The Lord of Fate has grabbed his pen. Is carving a star into Thea's head, and uh, that's what we're picking up here in the second the half stars. of our fight. But where are the ducks? Are the ducks here now? What, okay, what good. Ducks? I see the ducks. No, we're in the village. They ducks. Oh, the, the, the duck village. And so I wanted to make sure everybody saw oh. the actual little ducks. I thought, I thought it was uh, just a name. Just to, no. You know. Is because there are actual ducks in the village. Thus, it is the village des ducks. <laughs> do they do uh, anything? Like any cool tricks? Like what? What's the duck? What's the point of the ducks? Oh, they quack. Quack, 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 quack. Are they like evil ducks? Do they kill or maim or? Uh, well, they could eventually when they grow up and they can decide to become that way. So you brought us to a normal town with normal ducks. Oh well, yeah. Well, Really well, regretting when you say that it that I way, that. it sounds really boring. But in my head, I thought ducks. <laughs> Who doesn't love ducks? Right. Um, well, you know, I guess we'll just have to see how that plays out. How about round number six? Fine. Round number six. Robbie Clark, kick us off. <sighs> okay. Now that we've had that little break and I had a little talk with the hunger, I'm back and ready to battle. Let's go. We got to finish this before it gets too hectic. The hunger, I think it's time to do your super bite attack. A go! And the hunger is going to open another ginormous mouth. I'm going to use my second and final power up. Yeah! My first attack as the hunger goes for a big bite. This time, he's gonna try to bite one of his feet. Get it! Uh, There's the two feet. of them! So you got a chance! Not a good one, though, with the nine not beating the 13. It misses and hits the earth. Oh man, the hunger! What's going on? Why do you keep missing? Quiet, boy! Um, and uh, the hunger is then frustratingly going to make. Two more attacks. Two little mouths are going to grow out of the side of the ones that miss. miss. It's going to sort of split apart. And uh, he's going to go. He's going to try to bite that sweet mullet right off. Right off Robbie's head. Right off Bob's head. Oh, him Robbie. Not the mullet. <gasps> oh, uh, oh, seven to 13. Second one coming in. Ooh, Eight. The hunger. Miss it. Oh, man. <sighs> Hunger rolling low. I don't know what's wrong. That's our turn. It's okay, the hunger. We'll get him next time. <laughs> Bob, uh. as you dodge every single one of those hits, how gorgeous do your locks look as you move <clears throat> back and forth? They flow so freely, like they have a mind of their own, glistening, sun-like kissing off of every strand, Thea. Yes, 
truly they are something to behold. And truly. thankfully, this small child with his demon tentacles didn't snatch any of my hair away. That would have been terrible. I can't lie. That would have uh, been. Robbie. You actually see some small village women over on the far side, like, oh, his hair. Freaking out <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> Don't worry, ladies. I'll be there to sex you up later. Robbie, <laughs> when I saw those small ducks, I was reminded of my own. It made my heart feel a certain way. I know that we're here at this battle and one of us has to die. But I just want you to know, you're one of the strongest competitors I've ever faced. You and that thing on your back. I don't know what it is. I don't like it, but I like you, boy. And then you fought valiantly. But now it's time. It's time to unleash a combo attack, the likes of which you've never seen. Yes, I'm both powering up and applying a status effect. Oh. And what will it be? What? what will it be? Well, I'm glad you asked. Yeah. You see, that hair isn't just for looks, boy. Oh. It's also a weapon. Oh. As my hair grows longer, enveloping me in a giant ball, hardening into pure steel, surrounded and covered with spikes that can poke and wait. The spikes are covered and poisoned as I roll spinning as fast as possible. The hairball charging towards you. Here it comes, child. Here it comes. It's a seven to hit. A spicy seven. And a five to defend it hits. It hits. Yes. Oh boy. Oh. With a power up and a status effect combo, that is going to be four points of damage to your fighting spirit, and you are going to have a status effect applied to you. Ah, oh, ah, oh, it feels good. It feels good to battle. Robbie, listen, boy, I don't want to finish you too soon, so I'll hold back for at least one more round, but just know that I haven't given you everything yet. But still, I have two more attacks. And now you're going to feel what it feels like to be hugged so intensely, crushing you with love. That's right. The hug of love attack is coming now. Boom, here it comes. Feel my love, Robbie. 11 to hit. 13 to defend. Oh. Huh. Huh. Well, maybe my love didn't get through to you, but certainly my toe stench will as I quickly jump up and put my toes directly into your eyes. <laughs> saw the eye socket to again. Ten to yes. defend. It's going to hit. Smell me, boy. Smell oh, me. Oh, 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 oh this is so bad smelling. E. Etc. That's a, <laughs> that's a, a unorthodox fighting style. Never seen that one before in the arena. Have you, Thea? Oh, no, but it's very memorable. It's yeah. so uh, interesting. Seems, it seems effective, I guess. Yeah. In some yeah. sort of way. It uh, seems Ravi's very vulnerable when it comes to his face. Oh, that's fair. It's, it's yeah. very punchable. That's true. It is well, punchable. <laughs> oh, Wait, uh, is Robbie Yoon using his shield? He has been and using I, his shield. I've been keeping track. There hasn't been a moment where a plus one would have made a difference yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's sad. That's okay. okay. Do you need a hug? I know you said no to his hug, but do you want to run for me? They will open her arms out. I'll, uh, tendrils like a wave whoosh, block you off. Oh, it's mine. Okay, okay. Right. Your very friendly arms said no. Okay, that's fine. And she'll kind of embarrassed and slightly crying. Will turn her back and walk away very sullenly. <laughs> what was Thea saying? Don't worry about it. <laughs> that's fine. 
Hey, quit crying and roll me a d20. Okay. Cry on your own time. I'm not paying you to cry. I'm paying you all. Crying. My eyes just are spicy. Thirteen. All right, thirteen. Thank you. Okay. Well, since you seem to be beside yourself and unable to contain your emotions, I'm gonna kick off round number seven. Seven. What do you got, Robbie? Oh man, the hunger. I'm confused. What was it that Bob was saying about where he's from? People take care of each other, and there's like cool animals and stuff. Don't worry about it. And the tentacles from the hunger, that hat with the eye is going to envelop Robbie's oh. face. The eye is going to go wide, and the tendrils, the hunger is going to raise up Robbie like a strange eldritch marionette, and it will look down upon Bob, and it will say, we have spent too much time with you. And uh, I am going, it is going to make a heroic surge power attack. And All right. Several tendrils conform together into one massive twisting spine covered in weird eyes and barbs. And it starts trying to drill down upon him. Yes, Roll the hit. Do it, do it. Do it. All right, I got it. One second. Where's the window? There it is. All right. Do it. That's the window. Do the window. It's the 17. 17 to hit. <gasps> 13 to defend. It's going to hit. <laughs> That's going to hit for five fighting spirit. Holy macaroni. And I love macaroni. Oh. That's a big deal. Describe as this hitter is successful. As these spiny tendrils go down, you see Robbie's body writhing as he is a middle of this weird network of dark vines of eyes and spikes um, enveloping Bob and sort of pressure crunching him with these weird drill features and then dissipating. With my second action, I'm going to remove that status effect that I got. Okay. I, do I need to do something? And did I nope. lose health from that? You uh, you did not yet. It would be at the end of your turn, so you're good. It's gone. Okay. <sighs> the hunger. Oh, you got a really good hit in there, buddy. What do you say we finish this off and go continue our adventure to save the day? Good idea. Um, another tentacle is going to launch down. This one, more ordinary, if you can call them ordinary, as little eyes and little versions of mouths go out and try to bite at Bob. It's not ordinary. That's not very ordinary. 14, 14. to hit. 19 oh, to defend. Oh. It misses. <sighs> hey, Bob. And that'll be the end of Robbie's turn. <laughs> Damn you, hunger. Damn you. How could you use this boy like this to do such horrible things? Robbie. Welcome back. I don't know if you know what happened. I know you have memory problems because of the Alzheimer's or whatever it is that's going on there, but he took over your body, son. Don't let it happen again. We can defeat him together. If you just let me probably kill him, not you, just kill him. Anyway, don't worry about it because you know what? You're not the only person who has a heroic surge, my friend. Ooh. I too can summon the depths of power. But unlike you, I won't use it to hurt you. No, I'll use it to heal myself and restore five fighting spirit. Ah! I'm doing your attack. All right. Do I, do I, do I have to roll for that? Do I no. Roll? Automatic success, but tell us what it looks like as you regain that five. How do you heal? Ah, ah the wounds closing up, the biting of the tentacles, healing everything. Getting back to normal, my muscles bulging, legs crunching. Ah, I'm back, boy, and I chug a beer. Now it's time to kick some ass. Do I have a status effect on me, or am I? No, I'm. Uh, am you're, I good? you're tapped I good? out, I believe. Yeah. I, I, no, I don't have a status effect. On oh, me, on though, you? Right? No, 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 you don't have one on yeah. you. Yes, that's right. Ah. Uh, Good. It's all clean. 
which means now it's time to kick some more ass. My gators may have failed, but you know what won't? My hands oh. again. I just gotta use my hands, honestly. <laughs> I'm just gonna punch you a couple times here. I'm sorry, kid. Here it comes. Here comes the fists. 16 versus. Boom! Six! Ooh, That's, a hit. Gonna hit. That's a hit. That's one. And now here comes my second fist. It doesn't have a name either. Bam! 16 to hit. 14 to defend. Not going to do it. I'm sorry, Robbie, but this is for your own good. I've got to get that demon tentacle thing out, out of your back, out of outside of your backpack. <laughs> <laughs> what is he talking about? I... The hunger? <laughs> he, he knows what I'm talking about. Don't listen to him, Robbie. Listen to me. I could be your dad in a different world. I'm not your dad. <laughs> Probably not, but I could be. Remember that, boy. I care about you. Uh, this, this is getting very heartwarming. Uh, get, uh, I was no, gonna. I want to hear how this plays uh, out. No. Uh, well, I think he's done. So I think that's the end of the round. Well, I am at... done now. I am done with my turn. Yes, I am done. Uh, ro roll me a d20, Thea. Thea first looks over at Robbie. Are you okay? Robbie looks confused, a little dizzy. I thought he was a, I thought he was a bad guy. What, why is he saying all of this nice stuff? The hunger. Are we? Do we need to put him into the biomass too? It is better for all. I don't know, Thea. The hunger's had my back for a long time, as far back as I can remember, which is about yesterday. Does he have your back or is he your back? Those are two very different things and you should I've be never careful. Take, I've never taken my backpack off. <gasps> Can you take your backpack off? That question is almost outside of the realm of my understanding. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, Thea will quickly fly over to Bob and whisper in your ear. And by whisper, she's going to yell, but she'll lean real close. Pull his back, back off! <laughs> oh, you, yeah, okay, you got it! You got it! Oh. And, uh, you and know with what? that, she'll roll her d20. Roll the d20. That's a 13. Thank you very much. Ooh, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. You're welcome. And let's, uh, you know what? I'm gonna, that's enough, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay the chaotic event. There will be a chaotic event at the end of round number eight. <gasps> Robbie, you are the first to act here. That's what's coming down the pipe. Robbie, looking a little bit confused. The hunger. I'm not sure what we should do here. But I know that whatever we do, we have to win. Because if we don't win, we can't go save the day. We can figure this out afterwards. Yes, boy. Um... The, and and the, the hunger is going to sort of wrap itself around Robbie in this strange cocoon as it sort of turns into this large, like, snakish thing. The backpack, for a moment, disappearing behind the tendrils as these spines are going to come out of the side and start shooting little bits of acid and poison at Bob to try to burn and melt him and it's gonna try to take away those things that he cares about so much his alligators and it's <gasps> actually going to target all around him it's going to be an attack but it's going to be attacking truly his spirit <gasps> is, is this a is this a status effect or no uh it wasn't going to be but now it is the status <laughs> of sadness of losing your loved ones <laughs> sadness hurts most of all not the gators that's an 11. <gasps> Oh. oh, not gonna hit. Gator number one, Gator number two, oh. and Hannah Montana are saved. In Thank this God. Movie. See, I remembered their names because I am a good pet owner. In case I ever get a pet, oh Lord of Fate. <laughs> why, why would I get you a pet? Like a pet. You gator. basically are a pet. What? <laughs> 
No, Thea is people. No, Thea is not. We've been over this. Thea is people. No, you eat five hot dogs and now you <laughs> think you're people. And she'll fly off with her hands over her ears. I know you can hear me. No, I can't. Uh, what, whose turn is it? <laughs> it's still my turn. That's right. The thought, the hunger. You're you're messing up too much. Let me try. And the hunger is going to pull back, and Robbie is going to land. Listen, Bob, this Florida sounds really cool, and I got to admit, alligators seem cool too. There's a lot of stuff I'm learning today. I want to learn how to rub my nips and shoot tornadoes and do all sorts of crazy stuff that you mentioned. I, I, but I have to defeat you. I have to, to save the day. And Robbie is going to charge forward as the hunger empowers him as he's going to take power. He's going to use his special move, Child Punch. <laughs> <laughs> That's a different than his normal move. He's going to try to punch you in the belly. Oh, this is six to hit. That seems pretty up for a child. 17 to defend. <laughs> That, that tickled, boy. Tickle me. Well, don't tickle me again. Uh, good punch. <laughs> Thanks. But you aren't ready for this because I've got new kicks. Thanks to that Thea over there. She's pretty cool. And here we go. I'm going to try that shin kick again. Child kick. <laughs> He's better with a 12. It's a 12. Oh, it's a tie. In the event of a tie, uh, both players gain a fatigue, putting uh, you at four, Bob. If I may take a moment to just describe what I imagine this scene looking like, and then either of you can alter or correct it. But I imagine in this moment, Robbie Clark with his new balance kicks freshly tied upon those tiny toes. He kicks up with a high kick reaching into the sky, impressive heights as he leaps forward, leading with his right foot. And in a daring match, Bob the Barbarian with his bare toesies matches him foot to foot, heel to heel, toes to toes. And it becomes a solid match where they land both on the ground, pinky toes now tied. And that's where we get our fatigues. It makes a lot of sense when you describe it like that. <laughs> Robbie, your child punch and child kick may not have done damage, but they've left me quite tired. I need to take a moment to recharge. And so I reach down to my jorts and slowly begin to pull them off, healing one fatigue. Yes. Yes, I rip off my jorts, exposing another pair of jorts. That's right. I have two <laughs> pairs of jorts on, boy. <gasps> and that means shock. I can go longer than you thought. I have removed one power of fatigue and have exposed my new jorts. Now, Robbie, you said you want to play with animals like gators. You said you want to rub your nipples and shoot tornadoes out of them. Well, son. I can teach you to do that, but I can't teach you when you have that creature sucking the life out of you. So listen, boy, this is for your own good. I'm going to finish that creature, and then you and I are going to get on a fan boat, and we're going to go through the Everglades, and we're going to touch gators, and we're going to not touch nipples, but we're going to have, we're going to touch our own nipples the way God intended to, son. And we'll smile. And maybe one day when you're old enough, I'll give you a cold Coors Light, just like you deserve. But for now, it's time for me to unleash my attack as I sprint towards you, launching myself in a spear formation like a football tackle directly into your solar plexus. It's a 15 to hit. Where's the solar plexus? And... It's a 15 to defend with the shield. <gasps> Meaning oh. it's another tie and you both gain a fatigue. Well, that's really unlucky that I gained another fatigue. I guess now instead of attacking another time, I'm going to need to clear one more fatigue. So I reach down to my second pair of jorts and I slowly <laughs> begin to take them off, exposing another pair of jorts. And one fatigue has been cleared again. 
All right, you're back down to three. Robbie at four fatigue now. And uh, you know what? We're we're way past round cards here. So we're into round not nine. Robbie. And uh, you know what? I want to see how this plays out. I'm 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 pushing that chaotic event another round. I don't want to see it yet. I want to see this play out. What do you got, Robbie? <sighs> I want to drink Chorus Light. That sounds like fun. That sounds like a great way to be cool and probably would help me save the day. And I don't know what a fan boat is, but if I'm a fan of boats, that sounds like that's a pretty cool time. <sighs> okay. Hmm. I don't know what to do here, the hunger. I know. Release to me. And the tendrils are going to slam up into Robbie's head. Oh, look like they're sort of like pumping into his ears, his eyes roll back for a second and then they go black and a different voice speaks through his voice and it looks to you bob and it says you will not have the child but i will have you and as robbie says that viscous plumes of smoke are going to erupt out of his mouth as he sprays you with the spores of the hunger to try to truly envelop and bring you in to the swarm and uh, he's going to use his final status effect on this attack. Oh, who, oh, who was that oh guy? God, 11 to hit. Dang. 12 to defend. It misses. Oh. The creature that was once the hunger and Robbie, but now seems like the hunger is speaking through him, looks to you again, Bob. And it says, you will not have the child if you take him. If you take me, I will take him. Submit. And the ch and and what's left of Robbie is going to go in for a punch, a child punch. But this time you can see dark ichor pulsing through the veins of his hands. There is as much there is more force behind this than or any ordinary child punch. Let's see what it does. It's a nine. <laughs> it's a super child punch. It's gonna hit versus a seven. You will be, you will join us. You will join me. And he will forget that this ever happened. He will be happy and he will be mine. And then I'm going to go in for a dark child kick. Yeah. No! Eight. An eight. Oh! Versus 17, not going to do it. Somebody's As fighting. my turn comes to an end, the tendrils start to pull back a bit, but they are still enveloped into Robbie's face and arms and body as this they're pumping into him. That's my turn. You can threaten me all you want. You can attack me. You can hurt me. But you won't hurt him. Not the boy. Not today. Not in this battle. For the righteous will prevail. And as we all know, the righteous come from Florida. Yes, <laughs> it's time. It's time to unleash the thing that I said I never would again. That's right. I pull from the pocket of my shorts one pouch of bath salts. I open them directly before me. I sniff the salts. Oh, I am now pure Florida man, meaning I'm ready to kick real ass. And then after imbibing upon the salts, my eyes go wide. I can see everything. I can see everything that will happen and everything that was. And what it shows me is that today, Robbie, I will separate you from the hunger. I will liberate you and give you the freedom you deserve, boy. And I'll do it through battle with a large, Meaty Florida man punch. Well, the meaty punch comes in at nine. A nine. Ah. Dirty 20 to defend. Oh, such a huge build up as you go all Florida. The hunger was stronger than I thought. But now I will use my ass. Yeah, why not? And I jump into the air high above you and drop down with my large buxom ass directly <sighs> onto the hunger's tentacles. What? Oh, 19 to hit. Crushing booty. 21 to defend. How? What? How? How 
are you this strong? <sighs> Fine. I'm just gonna <laughs> say mean things to you. You're a dirty bastard, Hunger. <laughs> it was <Yeah>! a <laughs> the words were the truth. I always uh, knew it. I'm sorry though, but he still has the shield, and oh, therefore God. it is another tie. <laughs> and would you like to take over, Robbie? Here? Yeah, if that's cool with you. I think yes. I know what's happening, right? Yeah, yeah. You know, you know what it is. As those words enter through this weird hybrid Robbie Ma the hunger amalgamation for a faintest of second the eyes go normal again and you see Robbie I, I think I want to be a Florida man too and the hunger no and you can see the hunger thrashing against Robbie's form as he starts trying to claw his way out of it he reaches a hand up to you, Bob. Could you teach me to be a Florida man? Yes, I can, boy. Come with me, Robbie. Whoosh, we take hands, and Robbie is pulled from the hunger as it writhes and twists and sparkles into light and melts into a bu bubbling ichor, leaving behind only a backpack. And standing in front of you, you see a tired, worn out, but wide eyed Robbie. Hi! Hi! I'm Bob. I'm, Ro I, I'm Robbie Clark. It's nice to meet you, Robbie. Is, is, that, is everything you said true? Is, is that about Florida? A place of friendships and alligators and, and, and fan boats and, and Florida men and nipple tornadoes? <laughs> oh, son. It's all true. And it's all wonderful. Come with me. I'll take you there. I'll show you the magic that is Florida. It's time for a new adventure. I'm and ready. Theo will open up a pink portal and you find through that a big, giant, rusty fan boat inscribed on the back of it, Bob and Robbie. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's everything we deserve. Go be free, Florida men. Come with me, child. It's time. I'm ready. And as the two of you skip your way through and go through the portal, we see as that pink hue begins to shrink, Robbie, almost magically, those jeans that you were wearing get cut off. And you are also wearing shorts. <laughs> <laughs> Thea looks up to the crowd. I think this was exactly what we were looking for, right, Lord of Fate? Uh, I, yeah, I mean, I mean, I guess somebody technically died, so I, I'm happy. Yeah, I'm happy. this was chaos. This was blood breaking. This was bone destroying. This was jort wearing fight that we've always wanted in the arena. This is better than what I could have ever expected. I I, I agree. I I think I think the accolades had a great time. In fact, uh, I think we should do it again next week. What do you think? Yes. This time next week for another round of G20. Drum Drum